For more great videos like this, and most of all my book, please go to enlistedairmanguide.com. The future is here. You mean artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence. Air Force! Okay, so a lot of times we talk about emerging technologies and what does that look like in the future? And one that always comes up is artificial intelligence. And so what I wanna show you guys today is how we can use artificial intelligence to help us write decorations, award packages, Air Force bios, and all sorts of fun stuff. So we're gonna open Google, type in copy AI, and it'll pull this up. You sign up through your you know, Gmail account, it's free, and then it'll take you to this. And so whether we're writing a deck, a narrative award, or even like an Air Force bio, and so we're gonna click new project and there's different types of things for emails, social medias, writing tools. I find the four most effective for the Air Force are these four. Rewrite with keywords, sentence rewriter, passive to active and verb booster. But feel free to try other ones or different popular ones and, and see what they end up getting for you. And so let's give an example of a project we've already worked on. The way it works, is my one of my favorites is uh, rewrite with keywords and so what I will do is I'll paste all my bullets in like I pull from the EPRs I will take out the Air Force slang so anything that was a acronym or AF equals Air Force I will literally just translate it back so like right here you have like a three-part bullet oversaw the Air Force's first emergency fixed navigation system executed contingency operations mitigated deployment gap and saved 68,000 flights and validated disaster support capabilities for 118 bases. Literally put minimal effort, just take out the Air Force slang. And I do that with all the bullets. You have a thousand character limit. And since I'm writing a decoration, I might throw some keywords. And you can also mix up the keywords. So, you know, his name, where he works, and then the system he works on. But maybe I put trainer or something else I want the AI to kind of hone in on. And then after that, I click create copy the AI will start to think. You get 10 credits a month, which is plenty to write two or three decks, but that's per Gmail. So if you have more than one Gmail, you can, you can keep it going. We don't write decks that often. And so then what it generates is this different text. And so I will copy all of this different text, and then I will paste it onto a Word doc. And then with that, I pick the sentences I like, and then I obviously add the Air Force header you know, the distinctive in the ending, the distinctive accomplishments of blah, blah, blah. That'll get me a, a deck. And I can do that with an awards package and everything else. And so if I have more bullets, maybe I just do the first half and second half because you do have that thousand character limit. But it does streamline the, how much time it takes to get something good on paper. And as you scroll down, like if I click make more, uh, they get a little weirder, but that can be very useful for just looking at different ways to write things or maybe someone's like a staff sergeant has given you something you can throw it into the sentence rewriter and it'll crank out a whole new one so maybe I want to go professional or maybe I'm applying for a position in the military you know and I need a letter of recommendation maybe I go persuasive and I click generate copy I've written a lot of decks recently so that's why I've only got three credits left but then you've also got verb booster and you can play around throw some text in there and it'll just pop out stellar work honestly and hopefully that saves you guys some time later for more great videos like this and most of all my book please go to enlistedairmanguide.com